welcome to java is awesome and in this video we can talk about cognizant interview questions for the four year experience and it's a second round questions which is very very important okay so they have given one questions like uh, we have one map with the string key and integer value need to sort the map by the value not the key so basically they will provide you one map and th those map having some value like uh, <coughs> something a string or uh, some value age okay so name or age name or age or based on the age you have to sort those map okay based on the age you have to sort those map and you have to show those map again okay using the java 8 features only you don't want to use any other things if you use any other things maybe they will not consider you have done those questions okay so how we can sort the map using the java 8 features so let's see okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one class <clears throat> okay sort map value sort map value <coughs> so i have created one class basically and if you see this class okay so you can remember like in this class having uh, nothing as of now so let's create one main methods and inside the main methods what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one map so any map for example a string or integers we have to take integers and this map having a some new details so let's suppose uh, hash map okay so we have created one map basically and let's import the map also <coughs> okay our map is ready basically now what we have to do okay so what we can do is we have to sort our map so the sorting of our map what we can do is we have a lots of the way to do but uh, let's think about how we can do it okay so i am going to put some data into the map so let's say map dot put and we have some data called a and uh, the value is nothing but 20 okay and let's say we have a map dot uh, put and let's say the name is nothing but b and the value is nothing but uh, 50 okay so this is the two data let me copy paste so almost we have a six seven data right it will not store the duplicate key so i am going to change it so let's suppose we have a e we have a c we have a something called um, uh, r we have a p okay so this data we have this is not a duplicate key okay all are unique now and let's change the value also 20 50 then i will go with 10 then i will go with 11 or something else i will go with uh, something called uh, let's suppose uh, 22 okay 30 let's suppose go with 40 so this is the data we have basically and we have to sort this data okay based on the ascending orders okay based on the ascending orders in our applications and uh, this should be map will be sorted and those map we have to show again okay this is the requirement basically so what we can do we have a map so let's stream those map first so the first task is just create a map stream okay so how we can create a map stream the main thing is how we can create a map string so for that we have to you take the help of the map dot entry set and through the help of the entry set we can create the stream after streams once you created the streams of your map then after you can apply the logic okay what is the logic after that you have to start sorting okay so sorting if you see here we have a two method of sorting sorted it's not taking any parameters 
and sorted it's taking some comparators and four parameters if you see okay it will take four parameters also okay uh, right now only one parameter is required so let's do it so we have to sort our map so let's say map okay map dot uh, entry entry dot uh, it's saying like you want to sort based on the compare by key comparing by key or value comparing by value comparing by value so i want to sort it and i have to store those value also in the ascending orders okay so i will go with uh, compare by value okay without parameters so let's suppose compare by value i have taken right <coughs> and after compare by value we can do one thing like we can collect those data okay so i will write collect collect those data and i will write collectors dot collectors dot to map and now we have to do something to store the data into the map so we have a some two three way to do it okay if i show you this map uh, to map methods <coughs> two map method we have a three methods if you see here okay in this three methods what we are doing multiple parameters we have so this having a some parameters this having another parameters this having another parameters three parameters anyone we can take it okay let's go with this one four parameters the first parameter is nothing but key so we can write map dot entry and key reference okay get key so if you write get key it will work properly okay so this is the key second parameters we have to send the value we have to store the value so map dot entry dot get value okay so this is the third parameters let me break down this parameter itself or map itself okay <clears throat> so collect collectors dot uh, get value entry get uh, value okay this is the two parameters we are collecting those data into the map so first parameter second parameters and we have to show like okay hey we have to convert and store the both the data okay key and value both so e1 comma e2 i will write and then after finally i will write like where i have to store those data also okay so where i have to store basically so i will write here lambda expressions and finally i have to store e1 value okay so i will write here e1 and after that the next parameters i will use the link list to store the data into the ascending order so link hash map okay and uh, i will use the link hash map and then after in the link hash map i will create the object so i will write new so finally it's going to return and give me one sorted map okay so those i will assign in one map so this is nothing but sorted map so this is my sorted map now we got how we got it's a lots of the work we have done first map i have converted into entity entity to a stream and then after a stream to sorted sorted having a like uh, based on the key or value so i have to sort based on the value and then we have collected those data into the map format only okay so because of that we have written this collect logic otherwise not required you can directly print it okay then after what we have to do we have to write sorted map okay dot for each we can use it and in the for each you can use uh, key value pairs so e1 comma e2 like key comma value key comma value and uh, we can directly print it not require any other thing so system dot out dot print ln 
SYSTM system uh, dot out dot print and in the print function what we can do is print ln let's say print ln and uh, here we have to display those data in the proper way okay so for that i will write it here what is the key so let me write like that key plus i will give some space and then plus i will print the value okay so <coughs> this data we can easily print so whenever you are printing the map you have to use the for each method and this one is nothing but i have used this uh, two parameters functional interface to print this uh, particular map logic so for that i have used it so i hope you understood how we can sort the map let's go and execute this code so if i execute this code you can see e 10 11 20 30 40 50 it's printed in the ascending orders it's not sorting our key value if you want to sort the key just you have to change this one this method okay comparing by key now if you see they will sort based on the key a b c e p r okay and based on the value you can sort based on the value okay it's totally your miss you want to sort the key or you want to sort the value based on that you can try and you can sort it okay i hope guys you understood if you find any things like uh, in the sort manner or maybe sort code you can post in our uh, comment sections definitely i will check it out and we will prepare the video on that thank you so much